cue opening music. Hold it, hold it. Wrong music. But I like it. Good morning, and welcome to the poem of the moment. I hope it's a good morning where you are, or maybe a good afternoon or a good evening. It happens to be a super great morning here in Middlebury, Vermont, where I live. My name is Ted Shy, children's poet, and I'm here to share a poem with you for the poem of the moment today. And I've given my cousins the day off. I know, I know you're disappointed. But the cousins, they work really hard, and they needed a day off occasionally. So I step in to give them a little break. And before I share my poem with you, I have to ask you a pretty important question. And it sounds like a teachery or a grown-up kind of question to ask, but do you have any idea what you want to be when you grow up? I didn't, for the longest time. I tried lots of different things. And secretly, I think when I was eight, or maybe nine, I think I wanted to be a writer, because I loved playing with words. And I loved teaching, little kids mostly, so I kind of wanted to be a teacher. But here's the reason I wanted to be a teacher, which is kind of sad. I didn't think I had very good teachers myself. And I think I could do a better, I thought I could do a better job. So I wrote a poem called Someday I'll Be a Teacher. It's coming out in a new book, coming out very soon. And the poem goes like this. It's called Someday I'll Be a Teacher. When I grow up, I think I'll be a teacher at my school. I'll be the kind that kids will find to be extremely cool. I've watched my teachers carefully. I've seen the stuff they do. And I'm completely confident that I could do it too. I'm super great at helping kids like teachers do all day. And all the things they say to us are things that I could say. I'm smart enough to answer kids whenever they don't know stuff. And I'd be sure that the kids I teach would never try to throw stuff. I like to chat with grown-ups. I'm great at writing notes. I'm awesome cleaning sinks and floors and hanging winter coats. I would not sleep at meetings and never would be mean. And I'm the best of all my friends at keeping whiteboards clean. I know I have the skills I need to do it easily. And I'd be sure the kids I teach are perfect, just like me. That would make it easy, wouldn't it? So that's my poem. And thanks so much for coming by for the poem of the moment. And I hope you have a super great day, whatever your day, whatever kind of day it is. And I hope you come back to PoetryGuide.com for another poem sometime. And here's what I'd really love, is I'd love it if you went to my website, which you're mostly already at, and you'd send me a poem of yours sometime, because I would love it. And I promise, 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 I will write you back. So thanks a lot, and I'll see you later, refrigerator. Bye-bye, French fries. Toodaloo, kangaroos. Thank you. Thank you very much.